Hey guys, so I want to make a quick guide on who you should be leveling up your rapport with, what are the requirements for doing it, and some of the rewards you can expect to get from doing it. So let's get into it. Now if you see a heart on your mini-map, that means that there's a character there that you can level up your rapport with. Now you can do this through doing an emote with them or by playing them a song, both of which have a daily limit on them, or you can level it up the quickest way, which is through giving them gifts. Now you've probably gotten a couple rapport item selection chests from daily login rewards and whatnot, and these items will level up your rapport with these characters pretty considerably, especially if you're giving them legendary items. There's also relic tier rapport items that you can give that give a ridiculous amount of XP to the character, but you won't be getting those anytime early on. You can track your progress on their rapport here at the top, and you'll regularly be given quests from them whenever you level them up in order to increase their rapport even more. Some characters are going to have very high social stat requirements for you to even talk to them and start gaining affinity with them, and some characters get to ridiculous stat requirements further on down the line once you've started leveling them up. So even if you've gotten the requirements to start leveling up their rapport, you might need to get more further on down the line once they've leveled up a bit. Your social stats like Wisdom, Charisma, Kindness, and so on can be found in your character selection screen in the Skins and Virtues tab here on the left. You'll naturally get these virtues by doing side quests, main story missions, doing things like field bosses here to get courage, and you can also get potions for these stats by just completing the adventure books for each continent. All these social stats usually come in the form of a potion like this, where once you use it, you'll automatically be given these stats across your entire roster. An easy way to get these stat potions is with the Almighty Codex, which you can open up by holding Alt and D. Here you can search for anything you're looking for, say like a Courage Potion for example, and it'll show you all the Courage Potions that you currently have, and the ones that you don't, and where you can get them. Seriously, use the Codex for just about everything in this game, it is insanely useful. You can also get minor increases to these stats through skins. Higher rarity skins give you more and more social stats, so it's worth throwing them on even if you don't like the look of them and just disabling the appearance so you don't have to see it. Now, who should you be leveling up? Well, I'm gonna give you two different sets of characters that you should be focusing on, and I'll show you the rewards that they give you. The first set of characters here are ones that don't have ridiculous stat requirements or anything and are available pretty early on in the game. These guys and gals are pretty easy to level up your rapport with, and you should definitely invest some time into them early on whenever you come across them. Remember that those rapport item gifts I talked about are very, very useful, so it's best to just use the songs and emotes to level up these early characters and save those big gifts for the next set of characters that I'll talk about. This first set of early characters will give you some nice stuff like engraving books and vitality potions and whatnot, but most importantly they'll give you stat potions that help you reach those thresholds that you're going to need to reach for this second set of characters I'll talk about. Now this second set of characters, these are the ones with the big time rewards. Some of them are great for getting gold, some of them give you stat potions for things like vitality or crit chance, and some of them are great for collectibles like island tokens, giant hearts, and masterpieces. Captain Cavery gives you one of all three of these collectibles, so he's incredibly useful to level up for this reason. You're definitely going to want these collectibles because the rewards for getting them are usually very, very good. Things like more skill points for your characters, stat potions, runes, and cards, and plenty more. Maxing out your rapport with these characters can take a ridiculously long time, by the way, so it's not something you can just rush out all at once. It's something you're going to need to do day by day if you're going to have any hope of leveling up these characters. Now, each of these characters have social stats requirements that you need to be at in order to talk to them and level up your rapport with them, but like I said earlier, those requirements can get higher and higher each time you level them up, so you're going to need to keep increasing your social stats in order to match them. There is one little trick to cheese this whole process though, and that's with those rapport items that I talked about. Now when you go to gift someone an item, you can only gift them one item at a time, unless you're giving them multiple of the same item. Like I have two fishing poles here, I can give her two at the same time. So if you're just about to level up into the next tier of affinity for a character and you're not going to have the social requirements that you're going to need for that tier, you can just get as close to finishing that tier before it as possible and then gift them multiple of the same item so that you can immediately fill up that next XP bar without having to do any of it. It's a bit hard to explain, but I'll give you an example. So Nia has ludicrous stat requirements once you start getting into the friendly tier. You can see here with characters, you have to go through multiple levels at each tier to get to the next tier. And you're going to get rewards from that character for each tier that you complete. 
So if I want to skip straight through the friendly tier into the trusted tier, which is the final tier for a lot of characters, I'm going to need to give her a bunch of items that will immediately go through all three levels of that tier, so I don't need to worry about any stat requirements. So in the friendly tier for Nia, it takes 3300 points to level up each tier. So you need to get her anywhere in between 3000 and 3299 in that first friendly tier, so you don't level her up into the next one. And when her XP bar is between those two numbers, you can give her 15 of the same legendary item or 3 of the same relic item to instantly level her up to trusted. This is a super min maxi strategy though, so if it doesn't really make a lot of sense to you, it's not a big deal. If you want my advice, I'd recommend focusing on leveling up characters that give you giant hearts and also King Thyrain. Leveling up King Thyrain gives you a card that is used in one of the most popular and useful in-game card sets in the game. And for my more cultured viewers, you'll notice that Sasha and Aline both have a heart icon in the top left of their affinity screens. This means they have one extra tier available for them, which is the affection tier. When you get to this tier with them, you get the chance to be intimate with them. Thank me later. And one last tip for my cultured viewers, leveling up a character's affinity to max lets you place them wherever you want in your island. You can also change their outfits and, uh, and like have them lay in beds and stuff, so... So if you maybe just want to focus on maxing out your waifu of choice first, then who's gonna stop you? The real end game of Lost Ark is to not be alone anymore, so get to work on that now. And there's going to be a Google Doc in the description with a lot of this info that was made by the Saint Guild, so a huge shout out to them. Thanks for watching, hope this helps some of you out, and uh, hey, join my Discord. I just made it, so I hope to see some of you guys in there. I'm going to be doing like some giveaways and contests and stuff in there too, so the link to it's in the description and in the pinned comment at the top. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.